Hi students, welcome to Year 11 Chemistry and the Properties and Structures of Matter topic. This is video number 15 on nuclear reactions. In the last video we had a little bit of a look at the three different types of radiation and when they might be produced and we're going to explore that in a little bit more detail in this video. There are a number of different reasons why nuclei might be in unstable. The first of those is the ratio of neutrons to protons in the nucleus. Now this ratio is around about one to one for the um, low mass elements, so those up to about number 20 calcium. Um, above that this ratio rises until it reaches about 1.5 to 1 for the very heavier elements. Um, and I'm talking 1.5 neutrons to every one proton. Now, this sort of sliding scale means we have a number of different types of isotopes that fit just outside of that range. And we looked at in the previous video that we, the easiest way to um, have a balance, uh, or at least to try and restore a balance when there are too many neutrons, is for a neutron to be converted into a proton and an electron. So this time we're going to write that as a full equation. So if we pick cobalt 60, so 60 is its mass, it has uh, an atomic number of 27. So this is how we would represent cobalt. Because this is a spontaneous process, nothing else is going on. And the best way to do these or to write these reactions is to actually start with the particle of radiation that's released and then just balance the numbers. So a beta negative particle is going to have a negative one charge and zero mass. And if you write it like that, then we just need to make sure that we can serve our numbers. So on the top, there's a zero here, which means this must remain as a 60. 60 plus zero is 60. On the bottom, we've got a minus one. So we've got to have 28. It'll go up one number because 21 minus one is 27. Now I have to go to the periodic table. If I don't, if I can't memorize all of these and you don't have to, you'll always be given a periodic table. So it's a tool we want you to learn how to use. When you look it up on the periodic table, you find that uh, element number 28 is nickel. So this is my balanced equation. Similar sort of thing happens when the neutron to proton ratio is not um, stable, um, but because there are too many protons. So when there are too many protons, we get an antiparticle of the electron, which is called the positron or positive electron that's just been contracted. We will write the equations exactly the same way, but we'll note that there will be a slightly different charge for the beta particle this time. So again, we'll start with um, sodium. Sodium 22 is our unstable isotope and sodium has an atomic number of 11. So again, if we write our equation, but this time we make our beta particle a positive particle, I'll put the negative there and a positive there just to give you that idea. So this time, this number is plus one. And of course, the mass is still zero. So this time, it's actually going to go backwards in the terms of its atomic number. We're going to have to have 10 plus one to form 11. And again, the mass is not changing. Now, element number 10 on the periodic table is neon. So too many protons. One example is how sodium is going to release a positive beta particle or a positron and form a more stable form uh, of neon 22. The two other reasons why nuclei might be unstable, one is that they are just too big and anything that's pretty much above lead in the periodic table is already too big and will decay through, uh, radio, uh, through alpha decay. But of course, this is only one example. Um, there are a number of other ones and one that we can look at is radium 2, 2, 6 and 88. Now this is the isotope of radium that we get. Again, if you don't know what the number is, just look that up on the periodic table. But when we do the decay, we look at the particle that's being released first, which is an alpha particle. So therefore two protons and two neutrons makes a total of four in terms of the mass. And you can see this is really seriously going to reduce the mass. Again, I'm going to do my calculations. 86 plus two is 88 and 222 plus four is 226. This gives me the element radon. The final reason is that there may be too much energy in the nucleus. And in terms of balancing our equations, this is probably the easiest one. Technetium 99 is an example, an important medical isotope. 
and the gamma radiation that's released has neither mass nor charge so we'll end up with exactly the same thing at the end we just have a little less energy in the nucleus thanks for watching